Welcome to the Legacy in the Making show. I'm your host, LA's foremost success coach, Tony Marie Tori. I interview leaders and influencers who've gone beyond the superficial markers of success and claimed true fulfillment by leveraging their positions to create positive and profitable changes in their businesses and beyond. They share their stories and offer real-world, boots-on-the-ground experience that translates into practical advice to apply to your own journey. I invite you to this injection of wisdom and inspiration so you can prevail and leave your own lasting legacy. Welcome to the very first Legacy in the Making show. As the lady with the lovely Australian accent in the intro mentioned, my name's Tony Marie Tory, and on this show, I'll be chatting with founding CEOs, thought leaders, and high achievers who are up to impactful things in the world. Each episode, we dive into the stories behind their success to give you practical real-world insights that you can apply to your own business and life. This is a dialogue to raise the bar on leadership, and it answers the question, how do we lead with wisdom, transform limitations into strengths, and make a profit while still having a positive influence? I've already recorded 12 episodes that will be released over the next few weeks and months, and I've picked out some select bits so you can get a sense of exactly the kind of wisdom that will be coming your way when you subscribe to this podcast. Starting off with Reed Guzens, who, like me, is an Australian expat living in Los Angeles. And Reed, in the past two years, has built a quarter billion dollar, that's B for billion, real estate portfolio with his partner, Andrew Campbell, all while keeping people first and environmental resource preservation as his guiding principles. Einstein's uh, theory of uh, E equals MC squared, the C squared is the sort of the variable, the M is the constant and, and business can become constant over time, which meaning, you know, in terms of how you go deploy the business and how effective or how successful that business is, is directly correlated to, you know, the variable, which is us as human beings, us as leaders. Not everyone I interview is a client, but some of them are because I'm really blessed to work with some amazing leaders. And it's been great to be Reed's coach through his journey into creating a conscious and profitable business. Next, I'm going to be introducing you to Stacey Pates. Stacey's legacy is as an award-winning television host and sideline sports reporter who broke ground for women in sports by being the first female at only age 19 to host every NBA pre-halftime and post-game. I knew at the age of 15 that I wanted to do sports reporting. And at that time, there were no women. And when I went to my mom and I said, hey, this is what I want to do. She's like, you go, girl, do it. You can do anything. And then I had a counselor at my school that said, oh, well, you're from a very small town and you're a girl. So maybe you should lower your, your ideals a little bit. She's traveled announcing for the Harlem Globe Trotters and has some great stories about how she pays it forward by empowering other women in sports. Next, we have A.G. Morishta. His family started the first sushi restaurant in the U.S. and his marketing genius is responsible for initiating the speed of sushi's popularity into the mainstream. These days, he specializes in helping other leaders create movements focused on solving some of the world's biggest problems. AG is super wise, and this episode is packed with advanced leadership tips and strategies, so don't miss that one. And just know that you're whole and complete, and you may need to chip away some dysfunctional behaviors or limiting beliefs, and I know Tony Murray can help you tremendously with that. And so but I wanted to share those core truths uh, because I think when we get that and, and especially, you know, especially as leaders, sometimes our, we use our ego and our sense of control to get to a certain level of achievement and it's gotten us this far, but it won't take us to our higher level of we have to let go of control, which I know is tough as a leader uh, and let go and, and really come from a more. Uh, grounded and purposeful state that we're not doing it to prove ourselves. 
Then I'll be talking with Carla Amanda Brown about scaling your business quickly but effectively as she's transitioned from being a solo therapist in the Bay Area into creating a thriving practice with seven highly skilled clinicians in her employ, all in the middle of a pandemic. I'm quite astonished, actually, at how, how seamless, almost, like, that the process has been once I was able to find the message to stand on. Now Carla's working on some major global initiatives to make sure therapy is more accessible to all of those who need it. Carla also gives us some great tips on how to rapidly change your emotional state and your state of mind to increase your resiliency. Then there's Dr. Pele Raymond, who helps companies increase profits by growing harmonious teams. And then the next thing is you focus on practice, practicing optimism. Now, the reason why I say you got to practice optimism is because, believe it or not, optimism is, optimism is a skill. And there's Monica Sawyer, the blissful millionaire, who has some really smart things to say about generating multiple streams of income. I had the joy of having the many spinning plates mm -hmm. without the chaos. Instead, I was able to put it together to create a balanced life in sort of a weird backwards way. I'll be interviewing my client, Matt Zagula, who has an elite team of $250 million producers. And we'll be talking about how they're pivoting in the new world order There'll be episodes to look forward to, like Dr. Mel Palomares, the leader of the cancer prevention movement. There's two pieces, really. Part of it is early detection, where things are completely curable, like you were saying. And part of it is avoiding the diagnosis ever happening. And Daniela Cotro from Body Temple Yoga School, who'll be giving us some tips on how to stay zen despite the pressures of the world and business and how to open your heart up as a leader. There's Meredith Bell and Margot Murphy. They'll both be talking about innovative softwares that they've created to change the way companies and businesses build strong organizations and healthy teams. Well, this won't come as any surprise to you. If they have a team, focus on your team. Focus on making each person who is in your world as far as helping you build this enterprise that you're building, make each one of them feel special and important. Because mm -hmm. there's 153 million people in the country who work for in, inside of organizations. So I feel that it's the best place to reach as many hearts as I can. Mm -hmm. But to reach the hearts, you have to get to the, the leaders. And you get to the leaders, you have to have them see what, in fact, is holding their employees back. There are efficiency experts who will help you learn to be more productive. A shoe manufacturer whose give back has not only been impactful, but also profitable. I will tell people using monopoly terms, I'll tell people do not pass go, do not collect $200 until <laughs> you have made a decision. A manufacturer of a product that most of us will actually find in our garage, who's created an amazing work culture within his global company. I'll be talking to a mergers and acquisitions expert who has some great advice for founding CEOs. And one of my favorite episodes, a ruthless real estate broker who changed his ways and now has an eight-figure real estate firm that he built on the principles of selfless service. Each of these guests have compelling stories. They're all leaving a legacy in the world and they'll be sharing with you their tips and tools. So I hope you'll join me in getting to know them. This conversation is less about a specific industry and more about how these leaders and legacy makers have the mindset and the tips and the tools all designed to help you lead with wisdom. You can subscribe on iTunes so you don't miss anything. And I'll have all the show notes and details at legacyinthemakingshow.com. And if you like the show, I would love it if you would give it a positive review in iTunes because that will help other people find the program as well. And if you could share it on social media with the hashtag legacyinthemaking, that would be fantastic. 
Next episode is Reed Guzans, who built that quarter billion dollar real estate portfolio in two years and who, as a give back, teaches others to do the same thing. He'll be sharing how to what he calls clear your mental junk and how to discover your North Star so you're aiming your business efforts in the right direction. I really look forward to bringing you great content with some amazing guests. And if you think you might be a great guest yourself, please feel free to hop on over to legacyinthemakingshow.com forward slash apply. I'm glad you tuned in to the Legacy in the Making Show. If you're genuinely interested in creating positive change in your business or your life or on a more global scale, I invite you to connect with me at TonyMarie.com. That's Tony with a Y, Marie with two E's. When you get there, you'll find the Path to Purpose Master Plan, the truly brilliant method to make sure you're clear on why you're here. This is the absolute critical foundation to honing your instincts and leaving a legacy you'll be proud of. You can also find out about the Innate Wisdom Business Council, which is an opportunity to evolve your vision in the company of like-minded leaders and much, much more. Thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe to the podcast and we'll see you next time.